Hello and welcome to my first speed guide for Heroes of the Storm. I started this series for people that have hard time reading stuff or those who doesn't have enough time and want to jump into the game as soon as possible. I'm gonna start it off with White Mane. It's one of the best healers in the game. While it's easy to learn, it might be the hardest to master. So her first ability is Desperate Plea. Simply heal an ally, but to add a twist to it, every time you use it within a given duration, the mana cost is increased by 40, stacking up to 3 times and the duration is refreshed. Use it wisely or else you will run out of mana shortly. Next is Inquisition. Basically damage and slow an enemy by channeling a ray of light on the target for over 3 seconds. Very good at stealing kills from teammates, so... Try this at your own risk. Inquisition shares cooldown with Clemency, which basically heal an ally over 3 seconds, making it perfect for out of combat healing. Her third ability is Searing Lash. What it does is after a short half a second, you damage all enemies within a line, and if it actually hit any hero, another strike will occur after a short delay. White men ultimates are Scarlet Ages and Divine Reckoning. Scarlet Ages heal all nearby heroes for a good chunk of health providing a huge 40 armor increase. It helps mitigating gigantic damage dealers like Aeltha Spiroblast or Leeming's Orbs. Divine Reckoning on the other hand damages enemies within a radius every half second for 4 seconds returning mana equal to 25% of the damage dealt. Finally, what complements her abilities so well is Zeal. Whenever she heals someone with her healing abilities, you apply Zeal on the target. Any damage you deal is converted to heals, which in some scenarios can change the course of the game. Zeal is also a clickable spell that increases her spell power by an enormous 25%, but has a drawback of 15 armor reduction as a cost, so use it wisely. To go over the talents real quick, at level 1 there are two options, Pity the Frail as the default recommended option which reduces the cooldown of Inquisition by 1.5 seconds for each enemy hit by a tearing lash and increases your healing by 25% on targets below 30% of their HPs. The other option is Righteous Flame, it increases tearing lash damage by 25%, if the second strike hits an enemy it increases their damage taken by 25% and your attack speed by 40%. Reaching at level 4, you have another two options to choose from. Martyr Doom, which provides a huge 30% healing boost to this play, in addition to a 10% increase for each active zeal. The other option is Unwavering Faith, which increases your attack range, creating a safe zone for your basic attacks and increases your damage done by 20% for each active zeal. This synergizes so well with the Righteous Flame talent, which provides attack speed. So it's attack range, damage and speed. What else do you want, eh? Going for level 7, Intercession is an actual lifesaver. Providing unstoppable to an ally for 1 second that can bail out a teammate in a pickle. But if your enemy team doesn't have a lot of crowd control, then going with Zealous Spirit should be your default choice, as it automatically casts zeal on you whenever you reach 2 stacks of desperation. As a reminder, more active zeals equal more healing from damage abilities and other talents. As I've discussed the ultimates at level 10 previously, we can skip to level 13. Both subjugation and lashing out are great choices. If more damage mitigation is required, then subjugation will come in handy. Whenever you inquisition an enemy, it will cut the targeted enemy's damage dealt in half. However, if you are more into searing lash build and more damage is required, lashing out is the game changer for you. It reduces the cooldown of searing lash to immediately 1 second if and only if its second strike hit an enemy making it a spammal spell unless they dodge the second strike. At level 16, all three options are valid and great picks. Radiant causes you to massively heal all who has zeal active whenever you reach 3 stacks of desperation, and also refreshes the duration of all active zeals. A quick tip here is to cast Inquisition immediately after reaching 3 stacks so that it will take 1 stack of desperation, then cast desperately to trigger Radiant again. The second talent in this row is Shared Punishment. It chains Inquisition to the nearest enemy hero and reduces the enemy armor by 10. It also synergizes so well with Subjugation in the previous talent set which reduces both enemy damage dealt by 50%. Lastly on this talent set is Harsh Discipline. Passively reduces Inquisition's cooldown by 2 seconds and add a root to your arsenal for 1.5 seconds whenever you cast Inquisition on the target before it gets hit by Searing Lash. 
At level 20, you should focus on your main ultimate abilities. Scarlet Crusader makes your Scarlet Agency heal even more and provide unstoppable for 2 whole seconds. On the other hand, Judgment Day pulls your enemies to the center at the beginning of the cast and increases your Divine Reckoning damage by a massive 50%. Here are the two builds that I use personally, but depending on the situation you might need to tweak some talents to best fit the comp. This is my first video so far, hopefully it was informative, and if it is, please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitch, and as always, thanks for watching.